you're probably here because your third gen steering feels really sloppy. The factory steering shaft has a sloppy rack joint and ball joint. Both those two can cause very sloppy steering. The new shaft eliminates a lot of slop in your steering and takes up far less room in your engine bay. Pop the hood. Disconnect the engine bay light. You will need to remove the factory air box. Each year has a different type of filter and snorkel, so I can't really go in depth. It really depends on the year of the car you have. Make sure that your steering wheel is pointed straight. Pull back the plastic boot and remove the 9 16th bolt. Remove the bolt at the top of the shaft. Using a pry bar, push the old shaft back. Remove the top of the steering shaft. And remove the shaft. Yeah, this thing's junk. Into the trash it goes. Remove any grease that might have been left from the old shaft. Install the new steering shaft. Clean up the threads on the bolt. Put a small dab of silicone on the tip of the bolt. Insert the bolt into the steering shaft. This will be our marking point for the Dremel operation. Dremel a small groove into the shaft. Insert the new shaft. Put some Loctite on the threads. Reinstall the bolt and torque it down as hard as you can. Insert the new steering shaft into the steering box. Put some Loctite on the threads. Reinstall the bolt and torque it down as hard as you can. Lift the tires off the ground. Check for any binding by turning your steering wheel lock to lock. Tighten the bolt in the middle of the new steering shaft. Reinstall your air intake system. There should be an inlet air temperature sensor and one vacuum line. Reinstall the bolts that hold the snorkel assembly to the frame of the car. Reinstall the air cleaner and the lid. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment below. If the new steering shaft didn't eliminate the steering slop, watch my steering rebuild video.